Once you've created a button design you're happy with, of course, you'll want to print that design. So let's take a look at the Save to Print option in Build a Button. On the File and Save tab, you can simply click the Save to Print button in order to initiate the process of saving your button layout for printing. First, you'll want to specify which type of cutter you're using. So you can choose the option for Punch Cutter or Circle Cutter, or Die Cutting Press. In this case, I'm working with a punch cutter, so I'll select that option, and I can then choose how many images I want to print on a page. The default option will simply fit as many images on the page as possible. You can also specify a specific number of button images that you want by choosing Select Number and then the appropriate number from the pop-up. In this case, though, I just want a full page of button images, so I'll choose that default option. I'll then click OK, and I can then choose what type of file I want to create. I can create an Adobe PDF document, a JPEG image, or a PNG image. I find the PDF option convenient for printing, so I'll leave that as the selected option and then click OK. I can now specify a file name for the document that will be created, and so I'll just name this based on the button design that I've created. And then I'll click the Save button. That print layout will be created for me, and once it's ready, I can simply click the Download File button in order to download to my computer. Note that the download location will be based on your browser settings. In most web browsers, you can press Ctrl-J on Windows or Command-Shift-J on Macintosh in order to bring up a window showing you the Downloads folder. In addition, you may find a window in your browser, so here in Safari, for example, I can click the Downloads button and see my most recent downloads. I could then right-click and choose to Show in Finder, in this case, so that I can view my actual downloaded document. In this case, that happens to be in my Desktop folder, and I could double-click on that PDF document in order to bring it up in the Adobe Reader. So as you can see, once you've created your button design, it's very easy to save that design for printing.